How much runway does the Concorde need to land without using brakes or reverse thrust and stop before it reaches the end? Let's find out. For our first attempt, we're here at Seattle's 11,000 foot runway. And right when I land, I'm just gonna take hands off and make sure we stay center line. We'll see how fast we're going at the end. There's touchdown really early and hands off completely. And after 11,000 feet, we're still going close to 100 knots. This is gonna need a really long runway. And next up is the shuttle landing facility in Florida. This is 15,000 feet. And after 15,000 feet, we're going 80 knots. This is gonna need an insane runway. For our last attempt, we're at Edwards Air Force Base, which is 15,000 feet plus a massive dirt extension. Let's see if this is enough. And there it is. For perspective, there's our plane over there. And there's the beginning of the runway. I don't even know how far that is. 